According to Yelp, the best cool-down bites in Utah are scooped up at Bowtie Creamery, a true mom-and-pop shop in South Ogden inspired by a spoonful Catherine Diamond had 30 years ago. I tasted this ice cream. I was like, I've got to have the recipe. This is so delicious. Um, it was raspberry sour cream, and I have been making that flavor for my family um, ever since. Nearly three years ago, Catherine and her husband, CF, opened Bowtie to serve their all-natural, small-batch creations in unique gourmet flavors. The golden milk uh, is really fun. The candy cat mushroom bacon, for me, is really fun. Um, we, we have a feta, a gingerbread feta, uh, with chunks of feta cheese in a gingerbread uh, background uh, and that's really a, that was one of our first ones we opened with and it was very very popular. We came up uh, lemon blueberry cake batter, um, speculo s'mores, um, and ma many others. We have 14 house flavors that are here all the time. Uh, people can depend on those flavors to be here and then we have uh, five or six monthly flavors. This month we have huckleberry cheesecake. It's delicious big chunks of cheesecake in that. We have a mint chocolate brownie. We've used um, a, a local bakery, Topper Bakery, for our mint chocolate brownie. For super premium ice cream swirled with American history, head to Brooker's Founding Flavors in Provo, Vineyard, or Harriman. Virginia native and BYU graduate Brian Brooker came up with the concept. So what we did is we brought uh, a little bit of Colonial Williamsburg out here to Utah. So yeah, you're, you're kind of walking into a 1700s tavern, but you're getting uh, ice cream better than you ever would have gotten back then. So you're getting that like really, really well done kind of theming experience, but then also like a really good super premium ice cream. Yelp reviewers love Brooker's variety of flavors, each one named for a historical event or figure. One of them would be uh, Patrick Henry's Give Me Chocolate or Give Me Death. Is This one is a really good rich chocolate and then it has a swirl of chocolate ganache and then it has chocolate truffle in there and then it has chunks of chocolate chip, uh, triple chocolate uh, brownies. For a tropical treat, Yelp users rave about Hokulia, which started in Provo and now has 30 locations in Utah. But whatever you do, don't call this a snow cone. This is Hawaiian shave ice. It's all about the texture. Soft and fluffy versus hard and crunchy. Shave ice is gonna have nice soft ribbons of snow you know, that are formed in a way, hand-packed, so that they're nice and soft, so that every time you eat it, it's going to be delicious and just sort of melt in your mouth. Hokulia's most popular flavor? Best seller, hands down, tiger's blood. Everyone's got to have tiger's blood. And it's a special blend of strawberry, watermelon, and coconut. It's delicious. Some of the other uh, flavor lineups that are, that are most popular, Blue Hawaii, Mango, Pina Colada, there's also the 808, named for Hawaii's area code. It's kind of like an island vacation for five bucks. That is Malona, which is kind of a sweet green melon, Halpia, which is a creamy coconut, and Lihingmui, which is sort of a tangy, uh, almost watermelon Jolly Rancher taste. Yeah, it's another scorcher out here in the ABC4 backyard. The perfect kind of afternoon to get one of those cool, sweet treats. If you'd like to see the locations and the hours, you can go to our website, abc4.com. And if you'd like to weigh in with your favorite frozen treat, you can comment on our ABC4 Facebook page.